Okay, and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. As I was saying in the previous video, I just want some feedback from you guys. I really would like to see comments on the videos. Um, it shows that you guys are interested. I like seeing the likes and the comments because even if you don't like it, you can at least give me the constructive criticism of, oh, well, you should do this instead. And I take everything into consideration. I mean, right now I'm in essence a noob at Let's Plays. I'd like to make it as entertaining as possible for my subscribers, my viewers, and everything. Like I was saying in the previous video, the, I really made my first splash on YouTube with lyric videos, which take a lot less to them than a Let's Play, because in a Let's Play you're really doing a lot of talking to yourself, whereas in a lyric video you're not doing any talking, you are pretty strictly to yourself, and that's it, like, and it's not a bad thing, it's just, you don't really have to do a lot of talk, a lot of the talking portion that you do when you're by yourself. I mean, you look at me right now, and I'm able to get away with basically having conversations of the game because it's such a good game. But on games that might not be as entertaining, or games that I might not be as great at, or anything of that sort, we really don't have anything to go off of other than what you are told is the greatest way to do something or another. And that, that's what I want to get to. What the viewers want. Because, I, as I said, I mean, I've watched a lot of Let's Plays and have seen a lot of great ones and I've seen some pretty terrible ones. Um, some of the great ones that I've seen, just to list one that really got me into Let's Playing, is uh, Togoff, and he happened to, to do a, let's, a blind Let's Play of this. Uh, just how obliged, exactly. You want a reward, eh? I suppose that's an entirely reasonable request. How does a hundred silver sound? I was going to use that to fix up the car, but uh, quite frankly, I'll be grateful enough that my son and I come out of this with our heads. Keep your money. I don't need it. <laughs> then I suppose we're doubly fortunate, aren't we? The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandra. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. I doubt you want to travel with the Grey Warden. Grey Wardens? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? I mean, as I was saying about Togov, he was literally the single-handed guy that got me into a lot of the Let's Plays. I wound up watched his Dragon Age Origins series at least a dozen times, if not more. I could get used to this. Yeah. And it just, it was very well done. A fine gift. And he did it as a blind Let's Play, so all of his responses were very initial, it wasn't fit, fake by any means. So, I mean, I just want to hear some feedback, what I can do to make it better, what I shouldn't do to him, uh, in essence, what would make it worse, what would, I, I want some feedback on those grounds, kind of. Hey, uh, you're doing great, or hey, uh, I'm not really getting caught up or interested in this, maybe you should do this. And quite honestly, I'm not going to feel offended unless you attack me. And there's a difference between constructive criticism and attacking someone. And if you say, you just suck and don't give me a reason, then you're a troll. If you say, hey, look, I'm not really drawn in don't seem like you're interested, then I'll try to improve. I'll try to, because then that's a genuine, hey, look, uh, try to do this, versus uh, th that sucks, you, you suck, and no 
constructive amounts to help you, me. It's just, oh, that sucks. So, like, that to me doesn't help. That more so just detracts from the effort that this takes. Um, it seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Dark Spawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon walks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. The Archdemon, is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. I'm not afraid. I screamed like a little girl. Duncan said he thought I had someone in my room. <laughs> Not embarrassing at all. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. But uh, as I was saying before that conversation happened, I really just want to get some feedback from you guys. I want to see what you guys want. This is a let's play. It's mainly for the viewers. The only reason why I would have any success is if my viewers enjoy it. So. The more you guys enjoy it, the more I know I'm doing my job. The less you guys enjoy it, the more I know I have to improve. But I would love to get feedback on how I can improve it and stuff of that similar nature. Uh, we'll go over here. Ah, good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fett at your service once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself. What safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey wolf? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? You're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. You should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy, otherwise come speak with me. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a, what was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. So naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantments! <laughs> there <laughs> you have it. I'd like to see what other goods you have. Oh, certainly. I can do that for you. Just come with me. All right, we're gonna sell that, that. We're pretty much selling almost everything at this point. As I was saying, I really just want some feedback. If I can get feedback that helps me and it 
helps you guys out in the long run as well. But um, I'm running low on time, so as always, thank you very much for watching, and please tune into the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.